As I've been spending more and more time using my Steam Deck like a computer plugged into a monitor with a mouse and a keyboard or using something like my Samsung Galaxy phones with decks plugged into an external monitor, I find myself constantly on the hunt for the perfect portable mouse and keyboard setup. And I've got several different things that I'm used to using. There's a Logitech keyboard and trackpad combo which I have had for years, and the trackpad is just kind of crummy and the keyboard's a little mushy. It's fine, not great. There's this folding keyboard that I've also had for what feels like 15 years, and it's okay as well, but then you need an, an external mouse. I'm using my Microsoft Arc mouse a lot, but I'm having to pair it and then pair it to something else and move it around. It's just a little bit of a pain. Well, the other day, a company called... ProtoArc reached out to me and said, hey, we have a folding mouse and keyboard setup that we think might be a really nice setup for you. One thing that's cool about it is that it's got a 2.4 gigahertz dongle, but it's also got Bluetooth. So this may save some of my movement between a deck setup and a Steam Deck setup. It also, you know, it's got a mouse right there as well. So hopefully it's kind of like, you know, together, right? One dongle to rule them all. I'll have to test and see how well that works. So possibly, I thought, this might make sense for me. Now, this is $89, which means it's not cheap. So I'm going to have to find out if this thing is actually worth the price that they are asking. And that's what we're going to do in this video. Let's jump into the unboxing first, take a look at it, and then let's see if it's any good. All right, ProtoArc, foldable, mouse combo. I don't know how much I love their, their uh, design here. I believe that means they're the first arc. Also, that C looks a little bit weird. Why am I attacking their box so much? What's wrong with me? All right, let's jump into this unboxing experience here before I say anything else that I shouldn't say. Alrighty, that's quite cool. We are in a carrying case, and it is sort of a uh, flexible type thing, but I think that that actually looks fairly nice. Not too bad at all. This will definitely make it easier to carry, although I do hate zippers when you use them. They have a terrible sensation, a tactile nightmare for me, so I'm going to very quickly get this thing unzipped. And I'll probably never use this case again because of that. But you're not like that. You're probably fine. Let's set the instruction manual aside. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, well, that's smart. This looks like a... Yeah, this is like a little stand for like a tablet. You can use this with your tablet. You got a little... Look, it's flimsy, okay? I'm not going to lie to you. It doesn't feel great. Kind of has just a flimsy thing going on. But, I mean, it's there. It's an added value. It's free. We have an A to C cable in there. I believe this does charge over C, which is a really big deal to me. I need C on everything. So that's good. What about the mouse? Very low profile. Very lightweight. Not bad at all. The buttons feel not bad. Okay. Scroll wheel, similarly decent. Uh, they do have a big one up here on Apple because they were smart enough to put their USB-C charger just in the front instead of on the bottom. You know, that's a good place to put it. So pretty decent there. You know, I was I was sitting here doing this and hearing a rattling sound that I, I couldn't I couldn't quite figure out. I was like, what is going on? Well, that's because that's where the dongle is, right? We got the dongle hidden away inside the mouse. That's smart keyboard here. And this is really, really similar to my other keyboard. What on earth? The text is even in the same place. This is like my old keyboard's like big brother. That might not be a bad thing because I really like that keyboard. So like I said, it is a tri-folding design. So it opens up and opens up again. And there you've got a pretty big keyboard. Now I will say it actually is opening past flat on a table. That's not likely to be a problem. Let's make some space here and set it down. That's a, I mean, that is a full size keyboard, numpad and everything. Key travel is, it's not terrible. I mean, it's, it's, it's a pretty small amount of key travel. Almost reminds me of the Surface Pro 7. I will say though, there is definitely some flex going on here. And it is, it does appear to be plastic, whereas the other one I had was a metal material. So that's definitely something as well. This actually just is moving around on me. Hmm. Not really sure about that either. I guess that's, I mean, that's part of a hinge moving around. 
not like a locking mechanism. I think that's just because of the design of the hinge. It moves around. That also was not a thing on this older, much smaller keyboard. Okay, so I'm going to tell you, the hardware doesn't feel incredible. I do like that it's USB-C, but it does. I mean, it, it is able to bend and torque and flex. This does not scream premium quality to me at all, really. Um, the mouse also kind of has a, a relatively cheap feeling to it. What we need to do now, though, is we're going to... Plug this into a hub with my Steam Deck. We'll go into desktop mode. We'll do some typing. See what we think. All right, so we are plugged into our Steam Deck. And once that dongle was plugged in, everything just started working exactly as you would expect. I will say that the mouse is very, very low profile. Almost to the point of being slightly uncomfortable to me. Like, I wish there was more to grip onto. It's just, it's very, very low to the ground. But I will say that it actually does feel better than I maybe was expecting. The scroll wheel also does feel just fine. Clicking, doing things like that seems totally fine. The mouse is absolutely serviceable. And again, because it charges via USB-C right there in the front, I honestly think that this thing is probably uh, pretty decent. One thing I am noticing that I need to point out here, this is actually something I did not know going in, is that you can see there is a little dongle icon and Bluetooth 1 and Bluetooth 2. Guys, that is because this thing cannot just be attached to the dongle, but to two Bluetooth hosts. Does that mean three things at once? That would actually be really, really cool. We're going to need to test that here in a moment. What about the keyboard? Honestly, from how it felt, the flimsiness of how it felt, I wasn't really holding out a lot of hope in terms of how it would do in terms of typing, but it's actually kind of surprised me, guys. It, it's a little bit better than I was expecting as well. I was actually able to type fairly quickly with it. I'm not the best touch typer in the world, and this is a brand new keyboard to me, but I can type pretty fast on this thing already. Only a you know, small little miss my space bar there for a second. But I mean, it, it really isn't as bad as I was expecting it to be just from how flimsy it looked. And let's be honest, felt as well. Maybe you can kind of hear uh, just the tactility of it here as I type a little bit more. It's fine. It's, it's really not that bad. If you look over here, you can also see dongle Bluetooth 1, Bluetooth 2. So again, it looks as though maybe three things at once. And yeah, that is exactly what it is. Right now we are connected to the dongle because that is the button that we have pressed on the keyboard. But as you can see on my Z Fold 4 here, I'm going to press on the Bluetooth 1 button right now and watch how quickly it is going to now connect to that device. If you want to pair, all you got to do is press and hold that Bluetooth 1 button. You see a little blinking light. You're off and running. On the mouse, it is a similar story. You've got a button there that toggles between the different hosts. Long press on one of the Bluetooth ones for about three seconds. You go into pairing mode and you are off and running. Let's look at this real quick. You can see that the mouse is working just fine. Let me flip it over and press that button. How quickly does the mouse grab my phone? Boom, just like that. Now the mouse is working on my phone. And again, you can go one step further and pair it to another device. I think this is going to be a great example of a reviewer. You can't jump to conclusions too early, right? The keyboard doesn't feel great. You saw me torquing it and bending it. It just doesn't have like a super premium feel to it. The mouse feels a little bit better, but again, it just doesn't scream premium quality. However, when I set them down and I started using them, I started connecting them to different devices, I'm kind of shocked at how well it all actually does work. The ability to be sitting here with the mouse and keyboard on my Steam Deck, and let's say I want to plug my phone into a monitor to use it as Dex, maybe I'm going to put another monitor right next to that. I've got room for there, there to do that. I could put another monitor right there. I can simply press a button, grab my mouse, press a button, and now I'm on my phone. And it's super, super simple, and it's all wireless, so it all charges by USB-C. So then, what if I've got another setup across the room or in another place or just anywhere I want it to be, I can pick up the mouse and keyboard, press two buttons, and I'm connected to a third device, and I can move between these things really, like, shockingly quickly on something that felt the way that this thing felt. I kind of expected that connectivity to be kind of weak and it to take a while. No, it's 
really, really fast. And typing on the keyboard, it's better than I thought it was going to be. It's actually pretty okay. It's, it's, it's better than that Logitech keyboard that I have. And it's definitely as good as that other folding Bluetooth keyboard I have. Typing seems to be pretty fine on it. And it's a full-size keyboard with that number pad. And that comes in handy. I don't normally like having a number pad because it takes up so much space. But on a portable thing that you can fold up and everything, it's not as big of an issue to me. The layout's even quite normal. On a lot of these tiny keyboards, you wind up with keys in really weird places and none of them are really all that strange. The delete key is kind of in a bit of an odd place, basically straight above backspace, but it's not that strange. It's up there with your function keys. Overall, most everything else, control, function, alt, the windows key, all of those things, shift, full size shift on both sides. Everything looks pretty normal on this thing, guys. We gotta go back to the Amazon listing though, okay? $89.99 for this mouse and keyboard. If it were just this mouse and keyboard with none of the like multi-connectivity stuff, I'd say absolutely not. This thing should be somewhere around, I'd say $45-$50. That's, that's what it feels like to me. Even with the USB-C, all that stuff, 150 days of standby time, all that good stuff. But then when you factor in that this can be your mouse and keyboard for three devices, well, let's say it's $40 times three, that's $120. I know it's not three separate keyboards, but it, it may as well be three separate keyboards. So at that point, 89 starts to sound a bit better to me. And then look, we've got coupons. Let's save $10. At that point, it really does start to make more and more sense to me. Again, let's just underscore this to make it perfectly clear. These things do not feel incredible, but the functionality and actually using them makes me lean towards them being worth this price. And I'm going to tell you something. That's probably going to be my mouse and keyboard sitting here next to me for the Steam Deck and my external Steam Deck monitor for the foreseeable future because of how easy it's going to be. No more will I have to unplug that Logitech keyboard if I want to then use it on another device for a second. I can just press a button and switch over to it. And that is definitely worth something to me. Guys, thanks for watching. Big shout out to ProtoArc for sending this keyboard over. As usual, they are seeing this review at the exact same time as you are. They did not pay for this review either. I will see you on the next one, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friend.